So I'm answering a selection of conduction, convection and radiation questions. Starting with this one, a can chiller is used to make a can of drink colder. Figure 7 shows the can chiller. The initial temperature of the liquid in the can was 25 degrees Celsius. The can chiller decreased the temperature of the liquid to 20 degrees Celsius. The amount of energy transferred from the liquid was 6,930 joules. The mass of the liquid in the can was 0 0.330 kilograms. Calculate the specific heat capacity of the liquid, give the unit and use the correct equation. So this is the equation from the physics sheet, which is E for energy, mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. So we're looking for the specific heat capacity, so I'm going to call that, well, I'm not going to call it anything, it's going to be C, obviously. The energy we've been told is 6,930. The mass is 0 0.33 kilograms times C times the temperature change, well, it went from 25 to 20, so that's times 5. Let's solve this now, so 0 0.33 times 5 is 1.65C, and therefore C equals 6,930 divided by 1.65 to give us an answer of 4,200. Now, either you already know the units off by heart, or you can work it out by doing the following. I'm going to write the formula out again. Energy, we know, is measured in joules. Mass is measured in kilograms. We're looking for C, and we know the temperature change is degrees Celsius. Just need to rearrange that equation now to make C the subject of the formula, so it becomes J divided by kilograms Celsius, and therefore rewrite that like this. I hope you understand why I did it like that. Energy is transferred through the metal walls of the can of drink by conduction. Explain how four marks to make four separate points. First of all, state that metals have free electrons. Secondly, say that they gain kinetic energy. This means that they transfer the kinetic energy to other electrons by their collision. So mention free electrons first mark, gain kinetic energy for the second mark. Free electrons transfer energy to other electrons for the third mark by collision for the fourth mark. Learn that, please. The energy from the can of drink is transferred to the air around the can chiller. A convection current is set up around the can chiller. Explain how. So all you need to say here is that the air particles spread out, which causes them to become less dense, and therefore the warm air rises. So your standard convection answer. The can chiller has metal cooling fins that are designed to transfer energy quickly to the surroundings. Give two features that would help the metal cooling fins to transfer energy quickly to the surroundings. First of all, if they had a large surface area, and second of all, second of all if they were black, because then they would emit infrared radiation far more easily. Seven. A student used the apparatus in figure 7 to obtain the data needed to cal calculate the specific heat capacity of copper. Have a good look. The initial temperature of the copper block was measured. The power supply was switched on. The energy transferred by the heater to the block was measured using the joule meter. The temperature of the block was recorded every minute. The temperature increase was calculated. Figure 8 shows the student's results. Energy is transferred through the copper block. What is the name of the process by which this energy is transferred? Conduction, convection and radiation. It's by conduction, and that's because the heat source is causing the electrons to vibrate and pass on the energy, so you need to take conduction. Use figure 8 to determine how much energy was needed to increase the temperature of the copper block by 35 degrees. So look up, look across on the x on the, sorry, on the y axis at 35 degrees, and read off that value, and you'll see on the x axis that that is 35,000 joules. The copper block has a mass of 2 kilograms. Use your answer to part B to calculate the value given by this experiment for the specific heat capacity of copper give the unit and use the correct equation. So let's do that. You need to use this equation, which is on the sheet, which is energy equals mass times specific heat capacity times temperature change. We know that the energy we've just looked at on the graph is 35,000 times by, sorry, not times by, equals mass, which we've been told is two kilograms in the question. We're looking for the specific heat capacity, so I'm gonna write C there. And then lastly, the temperature drop was 35. Temperature change, more like. Let's do a bit of maths working this out. So 2 times 35 is 70 C, and therefore C equals 35,000 divided by 70 to get an answer of 500. And we need to use the unit. And I just mentioned in the previous question how to calculate that, so I'm just going to copy that across and assume that you understood, or you've learned it off by heart. This experiment does not give the correct value for the specific heat of copper, so just one reason why. And you can say here, because energy is lost to the surroundings. 4a, use good English. The diagram shows the structure of a vacuum flask. 
A vacuum flask is designed to reduce the rate of energy transfer by heating processes. Describe how the design of a vacuum flask keeps the liquid inside hot. Worth six marks, so it's definitely worth getting to grips with this question. Right, whatever you say, you need to link whatever the um, flask's adaptation is with whether it prevents conduction convection radiation. You have to link it, otherwise they're not going to give you the marks. So it doesn't matter where you start. Let's start with the plastic cap. Say that plastic is used as the cap because plastic is a poor conductor. Say that plastic caps are used because it prevents a convection current being set up at the top of the flask. You can say that there's a double walled glass, glass container because glass is a poor conductor as it has no free electrons. You could say that the vacuum's there because a the vacuum has no particles and therefore no heat loss by conduction or convection can happen. And lastly, the silvered surfaces mean that infrared radiation is reflected back at the hot liquid. Five, an electric immersion heater is used to heat the water in a domestic hot water tank. When the immersion heater is switched on, the water at the bottom of the tank gets hot. Energy is transferred by the process of convection from the hot water at the bottom of the tank to the cooler water at the top. Explain how. Please learn this off by heart. And they're very fussy about the words you use, so please just learn these words. So first of all, you need to say that the water particles move faster. Secondly, that the water particles move apart. Thirdly, this causes the water to become less dense. And lastly, the hot water rises. Done. Diagram 2 shows how the walls of the house are constructed. Diagram 3 shows how the insulation of the house could be improved by filling the air gap between the two brick walls of the plastic foam. The plastic foam reduces energy transfer by convection. Explain how. And you need to say here that air bubbles are trapped in the foam and therefore air cannot circulate, so no convection current can be set up. Filling the air gap with a plastic foam reduces the U-value of the wall. What is meant by the U-value? And you need to say here that it's, it's a measure of how effective a material is as an insulator. A homeowner has part of the outside wall of her house removed and replaced with double glazed glass doors. The U-value of the wall is 0 0.3. The U-value of the glass doors is 1.8. Explain the effect of replacing part of her outside wall with glass rates glass doors on the rate of energy transfer from the house. You need to see, say that the energy transfer will increase and that's because the glass is not such a good insulator and you can see that because it has a higher U value. Question 2. The diagram shows the car radiator. The radiator is part of the engine cooling system. Liquid coolant heated by the car engine enters the radiator. As the coolant passes through the radiator, the radiator transfers energy to the surroundings and the temperature of the coolant falls. Am I saying that right? Why is the radiator painted black? And you need to say here because black is a good emitter, use that word of infrared radiation, and it gives the maximum rate of energy transfer, therefore, to the surroundings. Different radiators have different numbers of cooling fins along the length of the radiator. The sketch graph shows how the number of cooling fins affects the rate of energy transfer from the radiator. The number of cooling fins affects the rate of energy transfer from the radiator. Explain how, and you need to say here it's because the fins increase the surface area and therefore increase the rate of energy transfer. Question 5. The diagram shows a chimney over a furnace. The coal fire is burning in the furnace. Air moves into the furnace and up the chimney. Describe how the process of convection causes this air movement. Five marks. Five marks definitely worth learning off by heart the perfect answer to. So first of all, you want to say that the air is heated by the fire. Secondly, that the air expands. Thirdly, that the air becomes less dense. For the fourth mark, say that the hot air or less dense air rises. For the fifth mark, say that cooler air from outside the furnace displaces the warm air and it and the cooler air falls and that ins ensures that a convection current is set up. I'm just going to finish off by looking at this weird bit of a question but it's about um, infrared radiation which is why I wanted to insert it because I don't have that many questions on that. So the inside and outside surfaces of an oven are light coloured and shiny, explain one and you need to say here because um, it's good that the inside surface is shiny as it means that it's a good reflector of infrared radiation and it's good that the outside surface is shiny because that means it's a poor emitter of infrared radiation and what that does is it increases the energy reaching the food inside the oven.